In this example, we want to find the derivative of f of x equal to x all divided by x plus a over x, where a is a constant. All right, so to do this, we need to apply the quotient rule for derivatives. So we're going to call this numerator part. Is this going to be f of x, uh, the denominator here? This is going to be, we're going to denote this as g of x. Okay. All right, so applying the, applying the quotient rule, okay, we're going to get, okay, so we have f of x equals to the uh, derivative of x times g of x. So we have x plus a over x minus the derivative of x plus a over x times x. Okay, and all this is divided by the denominator squared. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take the derivatives of those uh, those components. Okay, so right, the derivative of x that's going to give us one times x plus a over x minus uh, the derivative of this. Okay, it's going to be uh, we have the derivative. We can split that up. Okay, so we're going to have the derivative of 1, sorry, the derivative of x will be 1, okay, so, and then for a over x, okay, all right, so a over x is the same as a to the x to the negative 1. So when we take the derivative of that, that's going to give us minus a x to the negative 2, okay, so we're going to get minus a over x squared, okay? And then times x, okay? And then all this is divided by x plus a over x squared, okay? All right, so again, just to clarify, we have a over x, so we have this term here. Um, which is equal to ax to the negative one. So when we take the derivative of that, uh, we do that by using the power rule. So a, a, again, a is a constant. So we're gonna get a times x to the minus two, which is the same as a over x squared, okay? All right, so that is, so basically we have our derivative. Now uh, we can go ahead and simplify this some more. Okay, so we're going to get x plus a over x. Uh, we can go ahead and distribute the x. So we have minus x minus a over x because we have x over x squared. So that leaves us with 1 over x. And then we have a in the top. And then all divided by x plus a over x squared. Okay, um, so this will cancel out. And... We're left with, actually, sorry, take that back, actually, we have, oops. let's see, so there should be positive here, yeah, okay, so because we have a negative here, a negative, okay, so it's going to give us a positive, so then the x's cancel out, okay, the x's will cancel out, uh, but then that's, that leaves us with 2a over, a over x, so 2a over x, all divided by x plus a over x squared. Okay. All right. So then from here, uh, we can go ahead and simplify this some more. Okay. We can put the x um, in the uh, denominator. So this is the same as 2a over x times 1 over x plus a over x squared. Okay, and that gives us 2a all divided by x times x plus a over x squared, okay? So we can stop here. Okay, so that is the derivative of our, uh, of our given function, okay? So we apply the quotient rule. 
So you do that by taking the uh, we have taking the derivative of the top, multiply by the bottom function, minus the derivative of the bottom function times the top function, all divided by the denominator squared. Okay, and then we from there we simplify it, and this is the result we get. Okay.